Emperor Au Contraire. We return to his story, but he's no longer just Au Contraire. He is Au Contraire, the grand... When character page opens, whenever you're ready. There we go. Emperor Au Contraire II, the grand patriarch of Crash? Um, excuse me? Well, it's never done that before. Is it... Has a mod updated and killed everything? Did CK2 get an update and kill everything? Hey, let me just make sure. Um, uh, we good, we good, we good, we good, we good. What the fuck was that about? Okay, round two. I mean, I'll be honest with you, the character page does normally lag quite heavily when I open things. It's never crashed before, though. It's never, ever crashed before. Well, that's a shame. I kind of want to show off his Grand Patriarch title that I noticed when I was loading the save game. But I guess not, huh? Alright, round two. Boom. Yeah, it does say Emperor Oak Contra the Grand Patriarch. Please don't crash. I, I beg. This could suck. Oh, I'm going to leave this in if it, if it does keep crashing, because that way you guys will... All right. F careful. Okay, zoom out. Let some time tick, maybe. All right, we're good. Character page. Hey, we're good. What the fuck was that about, then? Very weird. Anyway, Emperor, au contraire, the second, the Grand Patriarch of the Holy Roman Empire. How many comments did I see yesterday that actually said, excuse me, streamer, invasion, ca invasion casters, bell, I means you get all of the kingdom level holdings if you win the war, but also you can siege whatever the hell you want as long as you've sieged it, you get it. I mean, I knew that because I also talked about it two episodes ago, but it, something didn't settle, something didn't work in my head. I was thinking it was a big old invasion for just a kingdom level title and wasn't taken into account. It's actually just your straight up pagan Viking conquest invasion. So uh, that's pretty great. So that means we could go over to the Seljuks right now. We can click our invasion of, say, Antioch. We can not only take Antioch, we could take Jerusalem. We could take the Egyptian Nile, the, the Nile Delta. We could take everything in Anatolia. Oh my god, we could take a lot. We could also take the whole Persian Empire if we really felt like it. But I think that might take a very, very long time. And also, I'm not really on the cards for that. And this was only supposed to be a grab the HRE series. And it's ended up basically being Rome version 2 Western Protectorate quite powerful these days. What the fuck? They've got like... Who is this? Perm? Some, some nomads that have settled? Have, have, they've been grabbed up by China? Along with everything? Wait, is this actually their lands? Directly their lands? No, it's still suzerain. They actually don't hold any lands, personally, by the looks of it. Um, where are your titles, my dude? No, all he's got is the Western Protectorate. Interesting, though. China, very, very powerful. We need to be somewhat careful with that one. Right, okay. So, the plan. Um, basically going to be what I said. But we're still going to save the invasion for the Seljuks. But I don't think we're quite powerful enough to fight the Seljuks. Seeing as they have 23,000. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Uh, by the way, I'm going to take everything. Is it how many ally, uh, allies? Packed? Allies with some random dudes, but... I mean, it's not aggression packed, so I don't give a fuck. <sighs> Why not? Wait, minus 33% off the bat. What do you mean? Because he holds some other stuff? What do you mean? That's not fair. Okay, well... Hop to it, team. Here we go. Biggest war you're ever going to see on this channel, ever. Besides, maybe when Julius Nepos, Emperor of the Roman Empire, went to war with China. That was fun. Do you guys remember that? I remember that. That was horrible. Took about five episodes. A grandson, I assume. To my daughter. My daughter's son. Uh, Prince Kokovan. She's also incapable. Bad pregnancy, I assume. Trouble pregnancy and slow fever. She's dead. Goodbye. Um, name your... Uh, was that just Guy? Oh my god, we're going for Guy. Even though Guy... I know Guy is a legitimate name, but I think it's just hilarious calling people Guy. It's kind of like, you, girl. Guy and girl. Uh, ne next song we're going to get, we're going to call him girl. Uh, but spell in a sort of Frenchy way. With the city under control, the Patriarch of Alexandria has been properly restored as one of the apocostal sees of the Pentarchy of the Western Church. It was originally founded by St. Mark the Evan Evangelist, who became Alexandria's first Patriarch. Nice. So that's got to have ticked that one off of the list then, yeah? So if you go Men the Great Schism, Alexandria, Catholic. Boom. Done. That's another one gone, another one gone, another one bites the dust. All right, here we go. Let's get everyone over. Travel to the ruins in uh, Sucktra for 219 gold. Can't really afford it, especially when we're at war with... The other largest power in the whole world. So again, we're going to try and take all of the Nile Delta. We're going to try and take Sinai. We're going to move up through Jerusalem, up towards Antioch, and take all of Anatolia. That's the plan. Do not care about Persia. Going to be honest. I do not give the first shit about Persia. Yes, we are a descendant of Alexander the Great. Yes, we should take it because it's his legacy. We can do that with another character. We get an invasion of every character. Why the hell not let our heir, Prince Au Contraire, restore the Alexandra side of things? The Alexander side of things. We'll restore the Roman side of things. And that way we're sort of working back through history, I guess. We're working back through the classics. Anyway, all our troops are going to move down to Provence. If I set it up right, they are. They're going to move down to Provence. Then they're going to get on boats. And then we're going to head over there. And uh, 
smash some boys. Get ourselves a a schism mended. Right, okay, so it's 8,000 men. How many men did we have? 47,000. We should be good. We should be good. That's more than enough. That's plenty of dudes. Of course, a higher early order because we are at war with an infidel. Um, quite expensive, though. The Spurtbruder Orden. What does that mean? Uh, it's like the Brotherhood of the something. I don't know. I can't read German. Uh, excellent. Midas touched. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, some random prisoner. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. I forgot we were deaf. We are trying to become a lip reader like our father and his father before him. We failed. We failed the dynasty. Every, everything, everything's gone to shit. We might as well just go up on this campaign now that he's not a lip reader. Anyway, 10,000 men down in Provence. We've got way too many boats, but not enough dudes. There we go. There's more dudes turning up now. This is good. Uh, minus 43%. Not for long. Right. What was our war goal for? Was it for Antioch? Yeah, okay. So we'll start with Antioch just to get enough war score. Um, fuck it. We'll send these boys over first. So now we don't need this many boats this time around, do we? We'll hit Antioch first. That will count for the most war goal. Where's his capital? All the way into Persia. Yeah, I can't bother with that. We'll take Antioch first for the war score. Then we won't obviously force enforce demands until we've grabbed Anatolia, Nile Delta, Jerusalem. That's the plan. We failed the hermetic text. Who cares? Honestly, I don't mind. I wasn't going to spend the gold on... I was saying that. If you spend more gold, you have even less chance of succeeding, don't you? Obligate the vassal. Yes, please. Vassals, I'm obligating you to uh, back me in this war. Oh, Jesus. That's a lot of dudes. Um, are we not a great military commander? Not really. I mean, we're good, but we're not that good. All right. Um... So these boys are moving in. We'll put down our troops on uh, on Cyprus there. Right, so Giles, Alvis, and Ponche. Uh, Pont? There, there, there we go. Okay. 32, 28, 27. I've got a very good feeling that if we go and attack the army now. Got another guy as well. If we go and attack the army now, we can probably crush them with our superior numbers and superior troops. Um, let's go back and pick everyone else up as well. I assume we've got... Maybe we don't have... Oh, wait. Starting last? Are we not already? No, absolutely. That's none of your business. Get out of here. Um... What are his tech advances like? 32, 30, 33. So 30 military advances versus our 27. You know what? They've probably got better troops than us as well. Hmm. This could be a difficult war. More importantly, hang on. Uh, I was told... Oh, he's only actually got 19,000 there. I was told he only had like 20,000 men. Yet somehow he's got... Yeah, he's only got 19,000 men. Yeah, I can clearly see with my human eyes more than 19,000 men there. Oh, well, it doesn't matter too much. Right, okay. Um... I do want to kill that army, but I'm somewhat concerned. Uh, what is this? Oh, nice. Cyprus is now considered no longer part of the Byzantine Empire, but in fact part of the HRE. But they'll love that one. Can we win that one? I think our commanders are so good that absolutely we can. I'm going to I'm gonna go for it. I'm going to go for it. It's a, it's a risky play. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Maybe it'll pay off. Um, our retinues can also get up there relatively quickly. Oh, God. Actually, this might not be too bad. Oh, come on. Crush them. Get out of here. I don't care about saints. Get out of here. I do not care about saints. Look at this go. Oh, get out. For the love of God. Assemble the mob. This is like the most important battle of this war. I think we've got it. We've got it. We've got it. We've got it. They've only got 17,000 men. The flanks are retreating. They've lost their right flank. Left flank is... Center has fallen. Right flank. We're good. We've got it. Right. How much war score did that give us? Uh, 10%. 10 percent. 10 fucking percent. Good. Thank you. Much appreciation. 10% war score. Well, that was worth it. Um, so this is Antioch itself. So we'll head up to that one and siege that one first. In the meantime, more boys on boats. Is this everybody? Oh, we've got other people moving down. Of course, we've got troops coming all the way down from Sweden as well. Um, right, what we'll do then? Just come come, like stand here for a while. We'll pick everybody up. Move these people into the ocean. You know what? Let's just go pick them up directly. Sod this. Why? A messenger approaches with a letter from the Vatican. A vicar from the Christ himself. Pass goes to prayer. Man to fight against heathens and infidels. Ah, uh, to Philistine. I should consider preparing my men. I'm not committing to that because obviously we've got a much bigger war of our own to fight with right now. So those guys can get out. 7% war score. Hey, we've actually claimed back a lot of land. I assume we just grabbed Antioch in that case. Uh, no? Where did we get war score from, my dude? I don't know, but I don't mind. That's fine. You know what? We're clawing things back. Everybody on these boats. So, so bring them south down to... Go to Tunis. It's only 600 men, but 600 men might be good enough. Right. Bring them together. Let's merge them and on the boats. Right, let's drop those guys down off at... What do you want to go for here? I want Jerusalem. We have to get Jerusalem out of this war. If we have to leave Anatolia, we have to leave Anatolia. If we have to leave the Nile Delta, we have to leave the Nile Delta. But Jerusalem and Antioch have to be ours if we want to mend the schism. So that is definitely high priority. Um, 
You guys could honestly just march down past Constantinople. It'd be a lot easier. They've probably marched all the way up from Constantinople in the first place, to be honest with you. Got some Spanish troops there. Just get rid of them. We don't care about. Sorry, boys. I really do not give much of a shit. Let the movement lock finish. Oh, we're getting more piety. Thank you. We are a pious man. Plenty of gold there. We're actually making profit out of this war because our vassals love us so much. They're giving us a shit ton of rebels. Re rebels? Le rebel. Uh, who? Who are you? Guys like African revolt. Is it? Is it? It was these dudes. Uh... Man, why would you pick now? I mean, obviously they pick now. This is the most strategic time for them to attack. Um, fine. Oh, God, no, I want Jerusalem. Jerusalem's more important than losing parts of fucking Ethiopia. I don't care about that. Right, good. Take their leader. 0% war score. That's good, considering we started minus 33 and went down even lower than that one. We have become a better man. 100 piety. Thank you very much. We should probably move away from the theology focus now, to be honest with you, but that's fine. 5 minus 8%. So we want to just siege the top level holding. It's a waste of time getting lower holdings than that. So let's just uh, divide and... Oh, got eight, <laughs> 18 dudes there, huh? Just divide and conquer. Also, I was told that I was looking in the right places. Just Kudus is apparently Arabic for... Or the Arabic word for Jerusalem. So let's move down and take that one first. Because again, that and Antioch, those are our major war goals. And no commanders on this one, huh? That's going to be a no from me, chief. Au contraire. Au contraire, we'll take the Holy Land. And that will make him a saint. Won't it, Pope? Won't it? Please, tell me. Please, for the love of God. Fourth character lucky. Gargamel is a fantastic aim. Oh, God, he's also a prodigy. Um, oh, man, she survived it? She's now infirm. Her body is broken because they are literally using her as a broodmare. Hey, you know when she got slow fever and a troubled pregnancy the first time around? Yeah, maybe you should just stop there, you fucking idiots. Gargamel, I'm going to call you... I do like the name Gargamel. Do we need to change that? No, we don't. That's already fantastic. We had a Gargamel earlier in the series that really helps us out a lot as well. Um, we have the brave trait, so we're picking a fight with this dude. Who we maimed horribly. Oh, it's the it's the Catholic way, isn't it? Right, so Jerusalem's next to fall. Let's just siege. Now, all we've got to do is do a shit ton of sieges. And hopefully... Oh, they can't, can't siege Dante up. It's not a big deal. There's 11,000 men there. Uh, kill them all. Right, chase them. Kill them all. Yes, they attacked into us, the fools, because they knew they couldn't escape. Right, okay. So it's 12,000 versus 9,000. They took a river crossing and were in hills. Oh, my God. We wiped out 10,000 men with that battle. Fantastic. All right. Go back and take out that first, uh, go back and take back Antioch. We want the ticking war score from that. Loads of piety because our factions love us because of course they do. Deliver them to us. Take this one again. There we go. We're up to 20%. Now I want to get up to 100% war score as soon as possible. And that way we can sort of say at any time if the things are looking shaky, if they somehow manage to crush our troops, we can say, hey, how about that surrender? Push it through. But up until that stage, I actually do want to focus on the more important provinces. So I'm going to put the boats down in Accra simply because... It's our provinces anyway, and if we lose this war, we don't need to bring the troops in. We can literally just move them to the neighboring province and uh, stop it there. Right, okay, so let's see if we can siege any of these provinces kicking around in uh, in Anatolia with the spare troops that we've got around. They're sieging those down. We can keep a close eye on those with the, uh, with the outliner here. We don't need to worry about too much about keeping our eyes directly on those provinces. Right, so let's, uh, let's, kill, let's kill you. Let's just pincer attack. Take them all. Thank you very much. We did lose something else there, but it's not a big deal. Right, goodbye, goodbye. I really don't care about my vassals and serpentiles. I might turn that message off next time we get it. Together we found prisoner. Good, good, good. We should be able to take those out even with commanders. Oh. Lose the trait zealous. No, thank you. I thought I was gaining the trait zealous. I was going to say, aren't we already zealous, all things considered? Right, so hopefully that will be enough troops to be able to siege this province. It is. Fantastic. They might get hit by, you know, siege events and stuff, but that's not a big deal. Sort this one down, because I think we've got the numbers to do so. It's risky, but it's fine. Again, all of these count as war score because they are part of the du jour kingdom of Antioch. They can't siege Antioch again. For the love of God, you're not going to win this one. Just, just, just let us have this one, my dude. Please, just, just save everyone's time and just let us have Antioch. Right, let's quickly assault this one down again. Anyway, we've got one to ten numbers. I'm basically just going to assault it down. Throw them in. We're up to eighty-three percent because they keep sieging and counter sieging, and we keep wiping out their troops on the way doing it. Jerusalem is ours. Finish off the assault. I am going to risk that, even though we will take quite a few losses. Yeah, 2,000 men lost on that one, unfortunately. But let's move around Jerusalem and try and connect up our borders. I would, again, like to take the Nile Delta. That is much, much higher on our lesson taken taking Anatolia, let's put it that way. Because our vassals will slowly move in and grab that stuff as we uh, as we deem it necessary. All right. Um, what else is part of Antioch, then? We're already going to get the Kingdom of Antioch. We just need 100% war score. There's no point sieging that. We might as well bring these troops down and try and connect up our borders. Because just by pressing the claim... We will gain control of these types. We won't gain them directly if we were to siege and we gain them directly, but I'm not too concerned about that. Um, what? One moment I'm shouting orders surrounded by the clang of swords and fighting me, and next everything goes dark. Are we dying? Are you serious? Did we just fucking die? N no? Oh, he got knocked out. I think he was knocked unconscious. You know what? 
Not risking it. Not because this this HIP is famous for those bullshit battle events whereby you go into battle, you were knocked over the head, and now you are dead. I understand that's you know generally how it works, but uh, not not this time around. No, thank you. That's going to be a no from me. I think this is going too badly. I could have managed it a little bit better by maybe not playing on the high speed, but you know what? Does anybody want to sit here and watch me siege this? I mean, it's a lot of stuff, right? And I'd rather blast through it as soon as possible. I don't think we need to worry about, you know, micromanaging to that extent either. 91% war score. We are losing that war in Africa, but I'll deal with that. If we have to, I'll deal with that. I was kind of just willing to let it go, to be honest with you, because it's not that important. I haven't, like, sent troops up to our capital or anything like that. Now nah, we're good. Now we just wait. Now we just patiently wait and siege a whole bunch of shit down. So we are at 100% war score. If we enforce demands now, we will gain the whole of the Kingdom of Antioch, which is not there. Uh, it's not much. Let's put it that way. So we want to siege. Oh, man, we want to be sieging outside that. I honestly thought that part was... Wait, was it not? Anti oh, shit. Okay. So let's let's try and siege around our borders somewhat and make it make it as contiguous as possible. Again, Nile Delta also on my list of things to do because that is well within our borders at this stage. So hopefully, you know, we don't need to worry about Antioch anymore. That's fine. That's ours. Just siege around it. I want to siege all of this. Maybe take this whole area within this side of the desert, west of the desert. Holy shit. Of all the people to have died, I hate the way that she's, like, drooling as well. That's fucking awful. Her husband, after all that, after a troubled pregnancy, after slow fever, and she is now completely infirm. The... What? The spy master of the Holy Roman Empire. The king of Sicily wants my infirm daughter. It's only minus 30% fertility, I guess. My god, what a horrible thought. What a horrible thought. This is, this is a dystopia right here. Some more gold from our vassals there. We are now up to 1,800 gold. Despite the fact we've got all of our troops there. We've only got 14,000 raised, actually. Did lose a lot during, like, sieges. Garrisons, of course, are going to be taking up a large amount of these troops. Assaults, uh, etc. Anyway, let's grab all of this. I do want to take all of the sort of surrounding provinces in this desert. And then, if we've still got enough men, I will move down to the Nile Delta. Like I said, fuck, you know, fuck Anatolia, to be reasonable. Philistine, sure. We are now crusading against the guy... We we're already crusading against. Wait, will that not give us a bunch of war scores starting off with? Oh no, we're going specifically for the Duchy of um, Kingdom of Philistine. We're here. I already control it. What is that? Was that not giving us? Uh, why are we not already getting a shit ton of war score then? Wait, I've already got an invasion on this. Hang on. So if the crusade, if if the Pope wins before us, does are we not going to get these titles? What happens if I just surrender this war out now? Oh, no, fuck this. There you go. Yeah, fuck, you Pope shit. Now we've got to fight the... Oh, God, fucking damn it. We've got to basically beat the Pope to get these Jerusalem titles. Because if the Crusade gets here and starts taking titles, we lose it. Because, you know, it will supersede ours. This sucks. Okay, I sold that one down. I'm, I'm going all in. I'm going all in. I've got to worry about enemy troops now that there's also a Crusade on us. Um. Okay, can we assault this one? 4.5? We can. We can take heavy losses doing that, though. My god, as long as we start the sieges. Right, salt them down. Good. Deliver everyone they found. Move south. Don't care about that. Get out of here. Right, uh, this one is... Still needs to be sieged. I'm so fucked off with this Pope. I'm just gonna... No, uh, you know what? I'm annoyed. I'm really, really annoyed that the fucking idiot Pope would try and take the provinces we're after. Now, they can... Uh, the Crusade is just gonna basically take whatever's left at that point, right? Uh, or have we just balked it? I don't know. We'll wait and see what happens, because... I mean, we have the majority of that. That sucks. I want to do a much, much bigger invasion. In fact, we're not even part of it. Why? What's going on? Am I going crazy here? Uh, I mean, wait, wait. How do I join the war? We're already in it. Uh, aren't we? <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. I'm gonna be like, we're pledged. We're in it. Why are we not? How do we join the war? Because we're not at war with them anymore. Holiness is... Yeah, okay. Well, we've already agreed to join it. I have no idea what's happening. Why are we not part of it? We've, we've pledged to it. Why have we not been called into it? It's fucking Crusade system, dude. It sucks. I'm going to be honest. Fucking sucks compared to the old one. As, as nice as this new interface is and everything, it's broken as all hell. You get loads of prestige, thousands of gold, a shit ton of artifacts. I don't get it. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I don't get it. I don't like it. And I don't like the fact that Pope's going to call a friggin' thing on something we've already had control over. Fuck you, Pope. You know what? Even though it didn't really go to plan, we did get the entire coast. So I'll, ta I'll take that all the way from Antioch down there to Jerusalem. Didn't quite connect to our borders, which is a little annoying, but 
I don't know. How would that have panned out? Feel free to let me know in the comments how that would have played out if the Crusade had won that first rather than before we'd surrendered that or before we'd enforced demands on the Seljuks. Would they have taken it? Would they have just got it all and then our Castus Bella becomes invalid? Or, or what happens with that? I didn't want to risk it because I just don't know. So I didn't want to risk it. But man, that's, that's real shit. That, that's horrible. Thank you for that. Oh, well, I guess they'll take whatever's left. But again, I, I don't know how to join this war. I mean, I've done it before, but why are we not... I mean, I've stick like I said, I'm the most participating man in the world. I would take the titles myself. We're not in it. Do I have to go to the Pope and say, hey, let me join the war? Is it because we were already at off to join war? We can't. We cannot attack your vassals with this Cassus Belli. What? <laughs> oh, is he my vassal now, is he? You cannot attack your vassals with this Cassus Belli. Because it's my stuff. Are, are they crusading me now? Dude, I think something's gone horribly wrong here. I think something's real, real broken. Let's not worry about it. Just leave them to it. Honestly, you know, have fun day spotting. I don't care. You cannot attack your vassals with this cast. That's explained it. Nice one. Right. Let's not worry about it. More importantly, so let's have some prayer and meditation. We got bigger fish to fry, like giving away shit thousand tons of tiles. Just, oh, we could. Oh, that's nice. Um, give it to a random. This is nice. Okay, grant the province to, yep, yeah, take it. Naples in Jerusalem. Give it away. I want to keep Jerusalem for myself, naturally. Um, we are way below our... We were way below our domain limit before all this happened. Command to Jerusalem. Mine. Skip. Uh, Odessa. Would you want to keep... The, do you want to keep, like, Antioch itself, though? Please tell me I didn't give Antioch away. Uh, no, that's still mine. Okay, well, we'll keep that one, then. Uh, Odessa. I want to keep that one, because as far as I recall, Odessa is pretty good, isn't it? Um, but it's okay. It's not great. It's also Polishian. Okay, we'll keep that one. You know what? Skip. Uh, Gersa. Duchy somewhere. Give it to a randomer. Jaffa. Jaffa Ascalon. Duchy Jerusalem. We'll keep that one for now. Uh, give that one away. If I don't recognize him, I'm just going to give him away, basically. Uh, give that one out. Nice. So we're still 23 out of 13, though. Oh, because we've probably got all the sub holdings. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, <laughs> it was a good invasion. Don't get me wrong. Again, a little bit annoyed by the whole crusade thing, but that's fine. Bishopric of Jerusalem now has a Catholic vassal. Are we not able to restore the schism right now? Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Let us see. Um, what else we got here? I mean, I don't want I don't want this one. We've got wrong type of holding, I assume. We might as well go for those first. Oh, it's just the city of Jaffa left, is it? And we can hold everything else. Well, that's a bishopric, so you're wrong. Uh I mean, it's just that one though. So Odessa, get rid of it. So we're 10 out of 13, and everything else is a castle. Well, that works out pretty well for our personal domain size, huh? Um, how about how about mending that schism, though, my dude? Oh, it's just Constantinople. Are you kidding me? And we've also got to deal with these rebels as well, which I almost forgot about. Uh, get them. So it's literally just repairing the schism. So all we've got to do... All the following must be true. One of the following must be true. That's already done. It is actually just dealing with... All of the following must be true. The boss bishopric of either so either the owner of Constantinople needs to not needs to not be orthodox or okay sure so Constantinople is last on our list um and that's an issue because Constantinople is currently under this dude more importantly is currently a hmm how can we do that proselytize it maybe fabricate claim and revoke it that could work and the vassals love us anyway we'll fabricate claim and revoke it we could try and proselytize it too. I mean, that's, that's our last thing to worry about now. So let's choose a hermetic art. Why the hell not? So we've already... Oh, shit, we've already got... Oh, man, we've already got Theologian, haven't we? Keep my current art. No, no, we, we will stick with that one because we, we're we going to become a saint. Basically, if we repair the schism, you become a saint no matter what because obviously that's a very saintly thing. So, oh, man, maybe we don't need to keep Theologian then if we are going to guarantee sainthood. We should flip over to maybe like... Uh... Mystic gives us Intrigue Learning. Scholar gives us just straight up learning. That gives us Learning plus Intrigue, though. Honestly, I think that one's a bit more useful. Because we've already got 28 Learning as is. Keep it as is. Yeah, no, that's, that's fine, honestly. I want to write the Magnum Opus. We've got to just get a little bit more esoteric knowledge. It shouldn't take too long with our current learning. Uh, we're also diligent. I didn't realize Stubborn was a bonus. That's cool. Right. In the meantime, let's deal with these fuckers as well. Right. Where am I? Oh, my God. Did I send in all my knights unreinforced? That was dumb. Whoops. Oh, no. No, they're fine. They actually survived it. Okay, that's, that's fine then. But they, they weren't reinforcing, but they did survive the war. So nothing to worry about. thought I'd just accidentally thrown everything away then. Right, okay. Who have we got? So these boys... Oh, God. They've got 8,000 men. 
Yeah, it's gonna be a no from me. Okay, god, fucking rebels. Right, I'm sort of refining the rally points a little bit. So if they're nearest to Provence, go to Provence. If you're nearer to Constantinople, go to Constantinople. If you're nearer to Tunisia, go to Tunisia. That's a lot easier. Oh, sorry, the city of Tunis. Um, that's better. Or Carthage, as it'll be known soon when we when we become true Roman. A Roman Catholic mended schism empire. That's weird. That's It's like an old world to uh, Julius Napos. Oh, look. More accursed infidels. What a shocker. Thank you. I do need that gold right now, seeing as we're costing 7.3 gold per month. Oh, that's going to be higher. Shit. That's with just the retinue cost. I think now that we've raised boats and everything else. Oh, God. It's minus 43. Jesus. Stop. Please, for the love of God, stop. <laughs> this is the one problem we're having in an empire this large is the amount of fucking rebels. Oh, my God. That's a lot. Shit. Right. Okay. We've got 31,000 men there, so I'm not too concerned. It's just a case of actually stopping this before it gets out of hand. Well, what I've apparently lost anyway, so we'll just enforce that one very quickly. Right, so let's get on these friggin' boats. Giles, Alvis, and Antochu. Get on the boats. These boys should be more than enough to take out. So this is all a sunny uprising. So if we go land our troops, move south, quickly crush these ones. Okay, wait for, wait for them to reinforce, first and foremost. Um, we've given up on becoming a saint. Yeah, you know what? It's gonna happen anyway, so that's probably fine. Have ten children, amass a fortune. Uh, that's not gonna happen. Convert province is definitely gonna happen, so we'll go for that one just for the easy, uh, easy ambition. Right, head south, take take them out, just kill them all. My God, every last man, woman, and child. There we go. That's pretty good. It's kind of annoying that this is such a massive rebellion when we've got so many simultaneously to deal with. Right, that'll do. They are retreating, but we'll head south to Tortosa or Tortosa, however you say it. Doesn't matter. Counter siege. Now, bear in mind, this revolt is tiny, and that's the one that's winning, so I don't really give a shit about that one at all. That one's been going since before we launched our invasion, or as we were launching our invasion. Right, good. Back on the boats. Might as well move them into the ocean, I guess, or at least come and pick them up directly. Right. Back on the boats. Let's go... I guess down to here to try and fight him next. The issue with Shattered Retreat, it's not like a regular... Um, it's not like a regular rebellion whereby you can just kill the rulers. And then you're done. With them splitting so many down, like normally you would fight just a single d death stack and that would be it. You know, you'd immediately go to 100% war score. This time around, not so easy because they've split into many, many different tiny little factions. Fucking, and they're rising up more and more, which is very fun. Um, fuck it, just send in the doom stack, my dude. Just, just move in as a big old doom stack. I don't mind at this stage. The more chance of killing more, isn't it? The more troops that we've got, the more that will be killed as a result of that. There we go. They are reinforcing. That's great news. That's it. Come to us, actually. We'll just stand here and no longer be part of the theology ambition. Scholarship? Not much point. Family? Rulership. Let's go rulership. Honestly, let's try and keep the realm together. Because this is not filling me with confidence. Yeah, that's good. Good tactics. Just, just... Oh, shit. That actually was enough war score to win. 181% war score? I didn't realize battle war score went... I thought it would be capped at 75% battle war score, but hey, I guess not. Boom. Thank you. Right, that's what that one dealt with. Let's, while well, we've got the troops here, go and deal with these other two at the same time. I think we've got 8,000 men, 1,000 men. Yeah, this is going to be easy. Man, this counter decision is a pain in the ass. Maybe we should just go for the army then. I mean, rebels with the 100% war score cap or the above 100% war score cap, we can just move in and kill the armies and then eventually, you know, if we kill that 9,000 stat there, we don't need to counter siege. You know, it's going to be enough. Stop running away. Please just accept your fate. You're not going to be able to run forever, my dude. Right. This should be enough, hopefully, to just finish this war straight up. Right, get rid of them. Boom. Zero percent? Really? I guess because they've counter they have sieged that much, I guess, that's uh Oh god, and we can't counter siege it. Ah Who thought this was a good idea, Paradox? Who thought this was a good idea? Seriously, all they've got is this single province, and that was apparently enough. Oh, it is Alexandria, okay, fair enough. Fine. To go back and counter siege Alexandria for the next five hundred years, even though there's only thirty dudes there. Jesus, good lord. Victorious Crusaders, right, praise God and all that. Nice kingdom of Jerusalem, my dude. Do you want to be vassalized? No. I'm a king, base reluctance. We could just... The Pope will excommunicate the Crusader King of Jerusalem. Because he loves us that much. Yeah, I think we've got a plan in the future. Uh, my... Oh, shit. So this is my son's son. The first son that they've had... You know what, now that we've got the invasion cast spell, I, I might just have him divorce the, the this woman and have him remarry someone who's a prodigy. That might be a good idea. Or I say have him divorce her, or which I mean have her divorce life uh, via a nice carriage ride, perhaps, into the wilderness. Why? There's 32 guys and we can't assault it. It doesn't make any sense. 32 guys would not even be able to man the walls. I, th I think this needs a little bit of a rework, huh? 
Maybe if there's like a ratio of troops compared to your own and, and the fort level is also taken into account, then maybe you shouldn't be able to do it. But if there's one dude, like literally you could have one dude and a fort level of six and you would be fucked. You could have 100,000 men versus one dude and there's nothing you could do besides sit there and siege it down via this method. At which point, they've gone out and counter siege bloody Siwar again. Thank you. Much appreciated. Get out of here. I've got to do a lot of vassal management, but I'm trying to save that for uh, in between episodes because I'm sure you guys don't want to see me try and shuffle Dukes around again for a whole other episode. Right, okay, let's move south. Quickly kill this one off. I don't want to start tomorrow's episode in the middle of rebellions. I just want to get it all tidied up now. We can get siege equipment level 6. Oh, thank God. Okay, so we're actually finally able to build our final level of castle, which comes with a whole slew of new buildings. Finally something to spend our gold on, which our vassals are just basically constantly throwing at us at this stage. Oh, shit. Wait, is that all their troops left? Okay, now in this situation, I think we could fight that and just get victory without having to counter siege. Hey, there we go. Perfect. We're done. That's been a hell of an episode. I honestly need a break after that because that was fucking absurd. Look at our empire now, though. Really, we've just got to tidy up, like, Greece and Anatolia. My god. That's powerful. That is a powerful HRE. Thank you all for watching. It's a shame the invasion didn't quite go a little more in our favor, but I completely blame that on the Pope. Uh, launching an invasion for a place we were already trying to invade, which was a bit of a pain in the ass. I didn't want to risk it. I didn't know what, how the game would resolve that, so uh, hopefully that's fairly understandable. But you know what is understandable? Thanking our lovely patrons. It's like 50-50 on whether it goes to the right screen, my dude. Lucas Holting, Sean Thornton, Haydock, Atmosis, Sidini, Timbrag, Loris, Croesus, Vacuus, Backus, Josh Lindin, Tesla, Michael Mullen, Mora, Jacob Alexander, Fenton, Powers Presley, Asuna Kirito, Conspire T, Jimbo, Orkswell, Fukuna Vasquez, Tom Terrier, 18, Average Gamer, 419, Escapes, Azzy, 7011, Daniel Faust, and Eric B. Thank you all for your support, the Insanity Lovers on Patreon. Thank you for keeping the channel going. Thank you for keeping things alive and well. Big ups, my dude. That's what the kids say, right? And a big shout as well to Andrew Wilson, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Euphrates, I See the Great, Jack Allen, Wolfie, James Barnes, Petimus Max, Panther Pearl, Gabriel Van Ders, Law Allen Thomas, Nathan Flores, The Sage, Yoran Debris, Haji Dumar, Arakira, Alpha Scuff, Duncan and Seven, Seven, Zet McDougall, Joseph Beard, Jordan Campbell, Harry McGowan, Chris, Sir Thor the Swede, Sir Death, Asero, Nick, Will Wade, Hancock, Noah Gallimore, Fraser Brennan, The Insane Pickle, Adam Person, John Holiday, Zico, Jay Lara, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, and Justin Plock. Thank you. I've got to go because I've got to go and put the Dwemer video live. See you guys there.